This was a very large um, National Institute of Drug Abuse study that um, was evaluating extended release naltrexone, the generic name for uh, the brand name product Vivitrol, compared to buprenorphine dash naloxone. Uh, those are two FDA approved therapies for opiate use disorders. They're used in quite different ways. Uh, naltrexone is a opiate blocker, and so it's used after people have gotten off opiates, uh, so-called uh, after uh, detox. Uh, and then want to maintain in a opiate-free state um, using naltrexone to help them. And then uh, buprenorphine is used in more of a maintenance model where people uh, switch um, without fully detoxing from a unhealthy opioid, say heroin, to buprenorphine, which can be taken on a daily basis and then maintained uh, for months and months in terms of long-term uh, recovery. Uh, we led a eight-site study um, across the country that um, recruited people from detox units, so inpatient care units where people had shown up, um, you know, literally as a first kind of uh, treatment episode uh, in the midst of what turned out to be mostly heroin addiction. What we found uh, was that, one, we confirmed it was harder to start naltrexone uh, on folks, meaning they had to completely finish a detox, wait a couple days per our protocol, then get the first dose of naltrexone. And that is more difficult, as we basically already knew, but we're able to really kind of precisely define how much more difficult than starting uh, buprenorphine, which is quite easy for most people to start, and they don't really need to complete the detox in the first place. Um, and uh, we already knew that, but we had never really seen the two side by side. And so we found about 70-plus um, um, percent got onto extended release naltrexone, onto the first dose, versus 90-plus uh, percent getting on to uh, buprenorphine. Over the course, then, of six months, about the same amount of people that had started um, did okay in terms of avoiding opiate relapse and kind of surviving uh, on treatment, uh, doing reasonably well in terms of uh, traditional outpatient opiate treatment goals. Um, at the end, if you looked at the entire sample, uh, more people had made it to six months without meeting our relapse uh, criteria uh, if they had been assigned to buprenorphine naloxone. But if you looked at everyone that had gotten onto medication in the first place, the two groups looked exactly the same and the survival uh, was the same in terms of uh, who um, uh, stayed on medication and who avoided kind of heroin use over time after they left the detox unit. Um, and uh, also in terms of what adverse events and serious adverse events folks were reporting, including overdose events, which were an important secondary outcome in the study. We really hope that people use more of all types of medications for the treatment of obese disorders. Those are methadone, buprenorphine products, and uh, naltrexone products, uh, principally extended release naltrexone. This study hopefully makes people feel um, a little more knowledgeable and potentially at ease uh, with the use of extended release naltrexone, which has been less well known, less um, heavily used um, as uh, buprenorphine uh, products. It hopefully um, lets um, um, institutions like uh, inpatient um, uh, detox or rehab or other residential treatment settings um, increase their adoption of these medications.